Electric Hour presents Nelson Eddy. It's that pleasant hour for light and power. Brought to you by 167 business-managed electric companies. With Robert Armbrister, the orchestra and chorus, our guest, Hoagie Carmichael, the announcer, Frank Graham. And starring, Nelson Eddy. The sun is a shining to welcome the day. I will come to the fair. The folk are all singing so merry and gay. I will come to the fair. All the stalls on the green are as fine as can be. With trinkets and tokens so pretty to see. So it's fun and maidens and men to the fair and the bride of the morn. Deck yourselves out in your finest array for the high Come to the fair. The fiddles are playing the tune that you know. I walk up to the fair. The drums are beating away at the store. And it's high They'll be racing and chasing from morning to night And round about turning to left and to right Oh, it's all that made us and men To the fair and the bright of the morning So lock up your house, there'll be plenty of fun And it's high, to come to the fair, Nelson Eddy and Company say welcome to the electric hour. I'd also like to welcome our guest. That I can guess who that is. Well, you should be able to, Frank, a well-known composer of popular songs. Tchaikovsky. Uh, uh, guess again. A well-known radio personality who plays piano. Um, uh, Jimmy Durante. No, 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 Frank, uh, no. Uh, guess uh, recently played with Humphrey Bogart in The Have and Have Not. Oh, if you want anything, just whistle. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. No, 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 Frank, not Lauren Bacall. Hoggy Carmichael, and here he is. Hoggy, glad to have you with us. Oh, well, thanks, Nelson. Say, I hope Frank's not too disappointed. Oh, no. Uh, and I sure would like to see him Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Well, is he one of the favorite songwriters around here? Yes, and we also like the way you write them, Hoggy. Well, I kind of like the way you sing them, Nelson. Well, then this next song ought to make us all happy. I understand it's a favorite of yours. Yes, it's sort of number one on my personal hit parade. Adding a seasonal note to an old romantic story, it's Hoggy Carmichael's One Morning in May, sung by Nelson Eddy.
By the way, Nelson, uh, do you go for magic? Sure, Frank. What have you got? A new card trick? <laughs> Nothing as simple as all that. Uh, you aren't going to start pulling cigarettes out of the air, are you? I wish I could. <laughs> no, Nelson, I was just thinking. Thinking how when you go to the theater and watch a magician saw a lady in half, you know you're seeing an illusion, not a fact. It's a lot of fun to watch, though. <laughs> sure. Sure it is. But it just isn't so, and you know it. But when the first of the month rolls around and you look over your electric bill, that's not an illusion. It's a fact, and a mighty important one. Because the fact of the matter is that if you're an average American family, you're getting about twice as much electricity for your money today as you did 15 years ago. And that's in contrast to increased prices for practically everything else you buy. All in all, it's an even tougher job to keep the price of electricity pinned right down to the floor in wartime than it is to saw a lady in half and then restore her unharmed. Yes, good electric service at such a low price may seem like magic, yet it isn't done with mirrors. It's done by careful planning, hard work, and sound experience management. <laughs> Brethren and sisters, my subject today is a beautiful city. It's a big city with 12 gates. That's what it say right there in Revelation. And that's where you're going to go if you do what the good books say. So all better be good, because when you see it, you'll clap your hands together and you'll start singing, Oh, what a beautiful city. <laughs> Carmichael melodies that have become popular classics of our time, now woven into a musical pattern by Robert Armbruster and the orchestra.
playing, Bob. Nice composing, too. By that Hoosier music maker, star of his own radio show, Something New, and screen actor, Hoagie Carmichael. Well, that's a lot of fancy billing, Nelson, for a plain old piano player. Well, for a plain old piano player, you've turned out a lot of good music, Hoagie. I'm glad to hear you say that. You know, most people think of me as a composer of jazz tunes. Well, aren't you? Strictly speaking, no. In fact, I've only written one real jazz tune in my life. That was my first one, a little thing called Riverboat Shuffle. When did you write that one? Uh, when I was a wacky guy running around in a green slicker at Indiana University. <laughs> sort of a who's your hot shot. Right? Yeah, but today I'm called the gentleman from Indiana. <laughs> well, what prompted you to make music your career, gentlemen? Oh, environment, I guess. <laughs> environment, I guess, Nelson. There was a lot of interest in popular music when I was going to college. In fact, Cole Porter, Phil Harris, and Red Nichols all came from Indiana. And you went from the halls of learning right to the halls of dancing. Hmm? Right, Nelson. I played piano for the great Bix Bider Beck, but my main interest was composition, so I began playing less and writing more. Mm -hmm. And among your great song hit, Togi, is one I'm sure our listeners all remember, and we'd like to have you singing for us now on the electric hour. Here in distinctive Carmichael style is Lazy River. <laughs> I like lazy weather. I like lazy days. Can't be blamed for having lazy ways. Some old lazy river sleeps beside my door. Whispering to the sunlit shore. Up a lazy river where the old mill runs. Meet lazy, lazy river in the noonday sun. Linger in the shade of a kind of tree. Throw away your troubles, dream a dream with me. So lazy river where the robins sing. Await the bright new morning, sleeping low for long. Blue skies up above, everyone's in love. But a lazy river, how happy you'll be. But a lazy river, we'll be. Contrast to Hoagie Carmichael's Lazy River, where all is peaceful and serene, is a stormy and turbulent lake I'm going to describe in a French Canadian song. All about a big hurricane when the wind she blow on Lac Saint Pierre. And a sad, sad story about the Capitaine and the poor Rosie in the wreck of the Julie Plan. <laughs> Night on Lac Saint Pierre, the wind she blow, 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 and the crew of the wood cow Julie Plant they got scared and run below. For the wind she blow like hurricane, by and by she blow some more. And the snow burst up on Lac Saint Pierre, one out of four from the shore. The captain walk on the front deck and walk on hind deck too. He called the crew from up the hole. He called the cook on shore. The cook, she's name was Roy. 
così ci compra amore the old trunks in the attic, I unearthed the dog-eared textbook I had back in grammar school. It was an American history book. Out of curiosity, I began to flip through the pages. The first thing you know, I became so interested, I'd practically read the whole thing. But looking back over the story of this great country of ours, I came to a conclusion. I can't help but think that the secret of our strength lies, in large part, to a national trait of character. Our dissatisfaction with everything that is not the best. Even the best is not good enough for most of us. And for this reason, we've become pioneers in better living. And out like a lion, a whipping up the water in the bay. When April cried and set the spine, and along came pretty little May. And along came pretty little May. May was full of promises, but she didn't keep them quick enough for some. And a crowd of scouting Thomases was predicting that the time would never come. He's come, my son, you can feel it, from you can feel it in your heart, you can feel it in the ground. You can hear it in the trees, you can smell it in the breeze. Look around, look around, look around. Joan is busting out all over, all over the meadow and the hill. But the busting out of bushes and the romp and rip of bushes, every little wheel that wheels beside a mill. Busting out all over, the feeling is getting so intense. 
that the young Virginia creepers have been hugging up the cheapers out of all the morning glories on the fan. Because it's June, 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 June. Just because it's June, June, June. I said, I'm a gay and young. You to the love of crazy songs. You make the way you're trying to do. And you find out something new. Consolidated Edison System Companies. We join with 166 other business-managed, tax-paying, self-supporting electric companies to bring you these friendly talks about the electric business and what business enterprise can do to build an even greater America. Now back to Nelson Eddy. again. I want to thank Hoagie Carmichael for being with us this afternoon. Next week, Robert Armbruster, the orchestra and chorus, Frank Graham and I will meet you once again on the Electric Hour. Our guest will be Florence George, soprano. Until next Sunday then, may happiness light your home and more power to you. The Electric Hour comes to you from Hollywood and is transmitted to our troops overseas by the Armed Forces Radio Service. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.